Welcome back to Riverview, everyone. This is our sort of realistic North American themed metropolitan area, uh, inspired in parts by the state of Colorado. And in the previous episode, we built this new residential type development out here on the outskirts of the inner city course. We've got some interesting circular layouts, lots of surface parking and no public transportation uh, yet, at least to fit that American theme. Uh, and today we'll be embarking on some serious infrastructure upgrades as the city is approaching 100,000 people, but the existing infrastructure really isn't fit for that type of uh, vehicle and traffic demand. Uh, a good example is if we move down here to the south, this entrance into the city is pretty congested. It actually gets a lot worse than this. This isn't even too bad. And if we check the time, uh, it is early morning, but for the next hour and hour and a half, it's only getting worse and worse. So we're really not in a good position to get to 100,000 people because that's going to require expansions of the uh, you know city areas before we actually start fixing some of the infrastructure. So that's going to be our focus for today. And as always, if you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate a like. That really does help out. So thanks in advance. Oh, and yeah, we can see more cues here. It's really bad in the morning. So I think for this interchange here and this national type road or small highway leading into the city, the best solution is probably just going to delete the whole thing and start over. And to try and keep it slightly realistic, I'm not going to pause the simulation while I do all this. It's probably going to create an absolute traffic chaos. Uh, but I mean, that makes sense, right? This is a pretty major revamp of infrastructure. So, I mean, I guess it's it's only fitting if we get some chaos. So uh, without further ado, let's get demolition and going. And we're just going to remove all this. I'm going to keep this road here because it does provide a uh, vital connection to uh, Sterling and Barlow Ridge, which are the two biggest manufacturing areas of the metro area sterling in particular has lots of high-tech industries and offices so i, I really don't want to cut that off <laughs> and i say that but now we don't have the electricity needed so i'm just gonna fix that real quick ah uh, yeah of course i cut something here which i shouldn't have and hopefully this will alleviate the situation, although I will also create a connection here underneath this highway. And that helped. Yeah, so much for not cutting stuff off. And the chaos we've created here is, uh, yeah, chaotic. I don't... <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna I'm, we're gonna need to keep this segment and this bridge, the Sunderland Bridge, in place because if I start removing that, then all traffic from the city of East Riverview and the industrial areas down here uh, is pretty much going to have to use the Black Road Bridge. And it's while traffic is is okay on that bridge right now, I, I suspect it's gonna get terrible if it's the only. Uh, nearby crossing so i'm gonna try and keep the sunderland bridge intact and then we'll see if we can build uh, the new infrastructure right next to it and then do a sort of smooth transitioning to it um, but we'll see how that actually goes i mean in, in in theory that sounds like a really cool concept and sort of realistic as well but uh, in reality in game uh, we'll see if that's actually feasible but i think the first thing we need to do is create um We'll need to create an arterial here or a highway rather that can really carry a lot of traffic in and out of the city from the i-25 interstate uh, so that's that's where we're gonna start and then we're gonna connect it up afterwards so let's see i think we're going to create the stretch of interstate here as an elevated segment it's a little more expensive of course but it's also uh, as a way of future-proofing uh, continued expansion uh, down south, we've got an open valley here where there's a ton of room for expansion of the city, uh, as well as to the southwest, there's this huge plains area near the river, which will also see future expansion. Uh, so if we create an elevated segment now, then uh, it's going to be easier for us if we are going to upgrade some of the infrastructure that leads uh, south of the city. 
Uh, so without further ado, let's grab our two lane highway, uh, add a curve to it. We'll toggle parallel mode and get a bit of elevation going. And I'm thinking that 7.5 is probably going to be sufficient. And then we're just going to curve it so that it ends up near the bridge here. And of course, I want to ensure that we don't see a reduction in slope due to the terrain over here. Uh, but this seems kind of weird. Do we actually need to be 22 meters above? Can I move all the way out here? I can. So let's just go ahead and try and do this and then see how that actually looks. And I guess that is that's actually fine. Otherwise, we would see a pretty substantial drop in elevation just as we are crossing the river, uh, which I don't think we want. Can we use the bridge segments? We can, but I don't think we can. We can't. No, we can't have any curvature on the bridge. So I think what we're going to do is just get the bridge in place. Again, I don't want any drop in elevation. Something like this. And then we're just going to redo this with a better connection. Grab this one here. And maybe we'll just change the whole thing up, actually. Okay. Let's see if this works. And we'll lower to about seven and a half and probably require a bit of imminent domain for the residential properties right next to this elevated segment. Oh, actually, they will live on just fine with a new elevated highway in their backyard. But I guess, uh, you know, volume levels were already quite excessive here, so I don't think this is going to be much worse, although uh, aesthetically, it's uh, terrible, but I mean, uh, we're doing it for progress, right? So we'll just get a crossing going here. And we've got a bit of an elevation difference here, which is mildly annoying. So what I'm going to do is just cross and then just create a, another segment. And then we're going to redo this connection. Okay, so we've got pretty much the backbone of some of the more expensive infrastructure in place. Uh, the new bridge here is uh, actually also quite aesthetically pleasing. Um, we'll get uh, some pretty cool shots of the city here with the bridge, so it's probably just going to be a lot more fitting. Uh, these pillars are a little too close, so I might do a bit of manual adjustment afterwards, but I think, I think for now this is absolutely fine. Uh, and we'll need to, of course, create a new type of connection here to fix all this up. And yeah, traffic uh, traffic is terrible. That's the only kind way of putting it. Anyways, uh, I want this stretch of the highway here to be uh, as close as as close as possible to the existing infrastructure. And this is where it's going to get a bit tricky because we've already got some rail lines here and some of it, all of it is very important. The line we've got here carries passenger traffic to the major southern suburbs of the city as well as uh, outside cities. And this line here carries freight traffic to our extensive uh, freight um, uh, cargo airport. And we've got a train... Um, embarking on a trip right now so i guess i'll have to actually i'll have to go to ground level here and do it right quickly we'll just see if the elevation is too bad it's fortunately not too bad 1.8 percent is uh really not bad actually let's just see how that integrates with the surroundings it looks pretty smooth now for the next step I'll have my engineers kind of ignore this segment for a while because it's going to be pretty tricky to uh, make sure we've got a continuous flow of traffic here while we pretty much revamp the entire thing. Uh, so the first thing I want to um, I want to continue with is making sure that I-25 actually connects to our new highway here in a proper fashion so that when we start 
making up things over here then uh, at least there's a full connection here to utilize a new infrastructure right from the get-go now one of the biggest traffic flows we've got is i-25 in the northbound direction as there is a ton of jobs here people are moving in from the uh, southern parts of, uh, of the state so the first thing we're going to do is uh, uh, widening i-25 in the northbound direction substantially here so that we can connect up to our new uh, highway segments here which we'll name a little later and what we can do is that we've got some lane math taking place here at this uh, weird intersection i created uh, so we can just continue the uh, free lane approach by adding another lane here and then we'll probably need to actually upgrade to a four lane segment here and uh, so that we can branch off and let's see how important is the infrastructure we've got in place here we've got a crossing here we've got an interchange here and we've got a handful of crossings here where the i-25 is sunken as it goes through the city of east riverview uh, so this isn't all that important uh goodbye do, 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 do. there we go this shouldn't cause the biggest of issues and it's going to allow us to uh, upgrade the segment for one more stretch and then downgrade if i can click the right button uh, at least downgrade this segment to a two laner so that we can branch off and connect and we'll probably need a little more space if we want this to look uh, halfway realistic so We'll move all the way back here and we'll, of course, uh, toggle off parallel mode and then branch off as smoothly as possible. And then we'll start our elevation rather quickly as well, not by too much, but... <laughs> oh man, that is a graphical glitch if I ever saw one. Uh, let's see if we can can we fix this but yeah nah, we're we're gonna redo that so i think we're gonna hold off with any elevation changes as, as that's gonna complicate things uh, for the first new segment and then as we add this additional segment we can start bringing in, in some elevation so that we can cross and we're gonna go for the same seven and a half meters and it's gonna be for you know over a long long stretch here 185 meters is probably fine and then i'm just gonna for starters just gonna see if i can do direct connection and see how that looks and then we can always do some revamps so that's the direct connection and i am pretty happy with the with the outcome here Let's just uh, move in and add a key wall to this segment here and on the other side as well. There we go. And I figured I could make this transition even smoother, so I just spent a few minutes uh, getting that all set up. And for our next uh, party trick will uh, make sure we've got a connection in place uh, over here as well for the uh, southbound i-25 direction now we don't need that to be as substantial because we don't really see the same amount of traffic here at least not that i've noticed uh, so we'll upgrade this to a free lane segment as that should be uh, sufficient for what we need and I should have upgraded two at once so that I don't have to manually adjust uh, two different segments, but oh well. And then we can probably bring uh, this free lane segment back uh, for one stretch. Let's just get some manual adjustment here. And then we can downgrade this to a two lane stretch we can delete this and then branch off and connect and i'm hoping that i can do this in one smooth motion 
by finding the connection point all the way down here and connecting up like this and then maybe upgrading this with some key segments and that looks pretty much as smooth as it's going to get and i'd actually like to just rethink this a little bit because we're gonna need an additional crossing here so we've got two levels we've got ground level then we've got seven and a half meters above that and seven and a half meters above that uh, so it's gonna look pretty beefy unless we actually try to lower uh segments of i-25 here it's already lowered in here uh, at East Riverview, so we could potentially just continue that uh, theme by making sure that the I-25 is lowered all the way to the interchange here, uh, and then through the through much of the city, and then it's about ground level here as we prepare for the bridge crossing. So to achieve that and get some guidelines on where I want to lower it and for how much, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually just remove the bend we've got here and then try to make it much more smooth and just let the game kind of figure out um, how low we'll actually need to, um, to lower the I-25. So can I find 180, please? Oh, there we go. Oh, I had the wrong, <laughs> the wrong tool selected. Right across. And this should create some <laughs> elevation difficulties. The delivery van here. Yeah, you're not getting your Amazon delivery <laughs> in one piece, that's for sure. Uh, but let's just... Uh, delete a couple of segments here so that we can lower it and what I want to do first though is just create an additional node here let's see uh, right here because I don't want to mess with this segment now that I've spent time trying to get this split as beautiful as I could so this is going to be uh, ground level for us and then we'll have to manipulate the wrist uh, which shouldn't be uh, all that difficult I think so we're also gonna have to redo this do, do, do. and then this segment here is rising but i guess there's a general elevation change so that should be fine shouldn't be a big problem uh, but let's just uh, lower this to a level which we think might be necessary i think something like this is probably gonna provide us with the kind of landscaping we want can I upgrade this to a bridge segment, an elevated stretch? I can. And let's see, that should be sufficient clearance, I think. So we're just gonna flatten this area out, make sure that there's a good clearance, and then the wonderful slope terrain tool should help us get a beautiful slope all the way over to the level of the ground here. So we're just gonna drag this all the way through I'm gonna right click here and do the very same and that's almost completely flat so that's perfect that is perfect and then I can redraw the uh, highway here although I might need a bit more space actually let's just include a bit more space there we go uh, let's see We'll enable our parallel mode again, of course. Make sure we're at a 90 degrees, which is uh, a little harder than I had expected. But this should be fine. And get our connection in place. And let's see if we can create a pillar here in the very center that doesn't interfere too much. Come on maybe here oh that just added another one that's <laughs> annoying i just want the one and we are gonna need a tiny bit of manual adjustment down here unfortunately to just ensure that this pillar isn't an issue yoink and what about over here I think that's fine. 
and we should be able to make this connection without the biggest of trouble as well as over here. So after a bit more manual alignment and fiddling with the roads, which I don't want to bore you with, uh, I think we've got pretty much the uh, best situation we can currently uh, since everything is placed so closely together, but we don't really have any pillar troubles now. And it seems that by old habit I have paused the game, which I said I wouldn't, so apologies in advance. Uh, we'll clean some of this up and then we're gonna bring El Kaiwe. Oh, the naming. <laughs> we're gonna bring El Kaiwe uh, pretty much back to its uh, former position. Uh, so we're just gonna branch off here and then create a connection for it so that we've got this road in place again like we used to. Just like this we might get a connection up here actually for the highway uh, but we're also just gonna uh, create a direct connection from i-25 in the southbound direction uh, and onto this area here so that you can quickly get into sterling if that's where you've got business to attend to uh, so let's just smooth this out as much as possible and then we'll once again upgrade this to a well i guess not a free laner then this time around but a four laner and we'll of course make sure that it starts as a free laner all the way down here and grab our two lane highway and try and we need more space yeah we need more space so i'm gonna create an additional node here then downgrade this to a two lane segment and I'll have to do it manually to get the alignment right unfortunately and then let's see if we can just create a, a bit of a gentle slope here and then we're gonna grab our two laner and branch off that looks terrible <laughs> so we're gonna try that again the snapping really doesn't want to play nice with me today that seemed to work all right we'll grab a one laner so that we can create our connection up here of course to be able to bypass all this if you need to go to the southern parts of the city so we'll just branch off from here and hopefully be able to create a direct connection without too much fuss. We can. And then we'll have another connection here to connect up here. Uh, so we're probably just going to actually continue this segment here like this. And then we'll get our connection in place. Moving across. And we used to have a free lane segment here, right? Which we can then connect to. In one smooth motion, hopefully. Something um, like this. Yes. So let's see. This segment is also going to be a little tricky. Because we'll have to use even more elevation, of course. To achieve what we want so if we start trying to bring it above the stretch here so that we can connect to the i-25 in its northbound direction then we're probably in a good spot so let's bring this up to 15 and if possible i'll build this without anarchy uh, it might very well not be possible as you guys can see but if it is, uh, then at least uh, that's probably going to reduce the change of any potential issues happening. Okay, so we can at least go down to uh, 375, although we are on a bit of an embankment here. But if we try to start there, and we've already got... Uh, a free lane segment here so 
here's to trying to see if we can get a connection here that actually looks halfway decent. Although that it would be a little too easy, I almost feel so. Is that really gonna play ball? No, <laughs> it's it's not, not quite at least. Uh, let's see if a bit of manual adjustment can save this sit. No, 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 no. It's not gonna work. Uh, I need this to be flat or at least follow the, the rest of the highway here. So we're going to try that again. Hoping that the same thing is going to work differently this time around. And I think that's good enough. Just turn parts of this segment into a key wall. And that looks pretty smooth. It's a... You know, it's a small segment here to actually merge and get off as well. So it's uh, it's a bit dangerous maybe, but it's, it's not too bad. Now with that in place, I think I'm actually going to revamp uh, this ramp here to something a little different. Let's see. Okay, so if we upgrade to a four lane segment all the way up till about here and then we actually downgrade this to a two lane segment which is again going to require a little manual adjustment and then if i create a two lane stretch no elevation or anything just a regular stretch right here something like this let's see just of course flip this around in the right direction that looks terrible so we're gonna try that again make it look not look terrible uh there we go then we've got ample opportunity for two connections here so uh the inside lane reaching all the way from over here so creating nice looking splits and merges and whatnot is of course much easier in City Skylines 2 than its predecessor. But something that I still find kind of tricky is when you have elevated segments and you're trying to split a two laner into two one laners for instance. Because the guardrails are gonna uh, clip into each other if you try to make the split too smooth. So something I'm going to do here instead that I've started doing is upgrade this to a free lane segment and then split those free lanes into two. Uh, and I know that that might not be like the most, I guess you could say, realistic way of doing it. Uh, but I think that aesthetically it just it it just looks a little better when I actually do it this way, uh, even though it's not it's not ideal, of course. So let's just see. I'll go ahead and create the road. I mean, even here, it would add in a bit of clipping, as you guys can see. Uh, so it really is very finicky trying to get uh, a good split or a good transition rather from um, these elevated segments when you're trying to make them smaller. Uh, but I guess this, I hope this will do. So we're gonna. Just go for seven and a half and just check this split. There's a bit of a graphical issue, but it's really not too bad. And then maybe we should just get this one in place uh, first. So that we know exactly what we'd be working with. Probably going to extend this error so slightly. Like so, and then just of course flip the direction, enable some snapping, and then we'll try to connect uh, this one up. And it should be a pretty clean job. Yoink. And then get this one connected down there. So that's going to be a little more interesting, of course. Because we don't want to go too low elevation just yet. We can do it 6.5, I think. And is it actually going to place 
our pillar in an appropriate spot. No, it's probably just anarchy that's gonna mess up the road. Although this does look pretty cool. <laughs> so this time around we are moving across a little earlier on the road. Five meters is probably fine and maybe that is going to allow for a decent connection. Something like this and that's much better. Uh, add in a key segment here. And we're good to go, of course, graphical glitching, not really sure why, but I think I'm just gonna casually ignore that for now. I'd also like a direct connection from the I-25 northbound and then to the uh, main street here, Summit Street, uh, leading up through the uh, pretty dense city of East Riverview. So I'm hoping I can actually branch off of... Um, this road here I, I don't know if it's gonna be possible but we're gonna see if we can just maybe go across something like this uh, we probably need a bit of a bit more elevation uh, to really get this done uh, we're gonna try and squeeze six 25 which looks all right actually i uh, will need to fix up this road here because it's looking a little weird creating an upgrade and then hopefully it's not too difficult to just get this connected up let's have a look that looks pretty cool that's a pretty direct connection to the city. So I think we're going to call it with this interchange for now at least. It does uh, pretty much serve the purpose I want. I don't need a direct connection to Barlow Bridge because we've got a bridge here and a direct connection up here. As well as a little further down here. So I don't think that's going to be a uh, necessity. Uh, but while this interchange does make a bit of sense, we are going to move our direction over here for the next big thing of this episode. And this thing here is not going to make all that much sense. Uh, and it's not entirely unrealistic. Uh, because if you think about it, then in your city, if you live in a city at least, uh, you probably know of at least one intersection or interchange that is uh, widely known amongst the people of your city to be a terrible, confusing mess. And that's because traffic planners make mistakes and do odd things in real life as well. And I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to try and actively create an oddity here that is hard to navigate and which will go down in history in Riverview as one of those uh, terribly hard to navigate uh, <laughs> interchanges. So let's just get, I'll get some trees out of the way for a start. So we know what we're working with. And then we're really just gonna experiment a bit and wing it and try to create some, uh, some odd stuff. Now I am going to start uh, deleting some stuff here and I'm not gonna pause the game because I, I promised not to. Uh, deleting this stuff is going to really wreak havoc on our city. So I think we'll have to, as long as the uh, new interstate isn't actually connected, we'll have to just uh, redraw uh, a road or two at the very least, or the city's just gonna <laughs> go down the gutter. Uh, so we'll just do this for now. This should enable traffic to get around this area, although at a, a massive amount of extra time. And let's see for this monster I want to build. So we'll enable uh, we'll enable parallel roads. Uh, increase the distance to about three. And then I want to create like a weird long roundabout type thing here. 
something like this and then we'll remove the parallel tool we'll go with the continuous and then get a 90 degree angle so that we've got a perfect curve there you go then we're going to connect these segments up to the actual interstate so i'll go about 180 and just make a direct connection here and i'm gonna do the very same thing here get uh, this connection in place i can without trouble so we'll do something like this instead and then i'd like to connect up to these roads here so we're gonna find somewhere we can branch off and do a direct connection and we'll do the same Maybe we should actually just do like a straight segment here. Something like this. Actually, let's get that curve in here. And we'll just uh, disable snapping so that we can really pinpoint what we want. Something like this. And what a beautiful start. <laughs> beautiful start indeed. Let's try and connect up to this road, which will lead into the heart of Riverview. Uh, so I'm just going to grab the four lane highway here, enable some snapping, and just bring that across like this. And then the easiest way would probably just be to continue this connection here. And connect this up to this segment right here. Something like this. And then I want to connect this road up to this area here as well. Uh, which is going to be so weird. Mm, but we are going to do it nonetheless. So I'll grab the four laner again, branch off from this road here near all the high tech industry at the airport. And we'll move across. And that looks super weird. So we'll just try to do that again. Is that because yeah, we've got a lot of elevation changes here. So I'm going to create a bit of a ramp for us to utilize. There you go. And then I guess we need to upgrade this to a free lane segment or parts of it at least so that we can get a road to connect. I'm, I'm just uh, checking how this would actually look. It would look absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's not do this. Let's just downgrade that again. So that looks a little more reasonable. If, uh, if I can even use that word for this build. But I do want to kind of split this out and connect up to this road here okay so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this over like this and we'll do a connection in here and then this connection that's beautiful don't you think And then we'll just create uh, a connection here where we'll upgrade so that we've got a few additional lanes. I think we're gonna add in an additional ramp here because, uh, because why not? So let's see, we'll upgrade uh, the segment here. And that is probably, uh, we'll just grab another one. Disable some snapping, get the alignment right, 
and then we're gonna something like this oh boy i definitely have to do some changes here so i think for starters we need a more direct connection into the city uh and not just this one where we we're gonna need a traffic light or something so let's just go ahead and do a bit of upgrading of some of the segments here so that we can uh, branch off around here with a single lane to then go underneath the train tracks and connect over here in some way. And it's probably easier to just do it in the wrong direction and then connect them up like this and then move in make the upgrades necessary and there's a tiny segment there as well there you go and i know this isn't uh perfect lane math but i think it's okay it's 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 okay remove the traffic lights that shouldn't be necessary and then we've got a proper bottleneck here Wondering if we might be able to alleviate that by upgrading this to a three lane segment. Probably not. So let's just see what we can do to alleviate this. I think I'm going to upgrade this road to a five lane asymmetrical one for starters. And maybe if we upgrade this to a three laner to utilize the extra lanes and potentially upgrade this or downgrade it rather to just a single lane and maybe i'll remove this and try and uh, create a bit of a prettier curve into this whole thing as such then the simulation is really slow right now but starting to become a bit of a slow city to be honest so i don't know how much there is to really do about that uh, but we'll add some traffic lights here, here, we've already got some here and that is probably fine for now. I don't think Do we need some here as well. Yeah. I wish I could just add a stop to like one of these roads instead of having to do it for like the entirety of it. I guess I'll just try and then we'll see how that affects the flow. And two trains crossing above, that is pretty cool. Although we could probably do with, uh, let's see. Can we get an extra pillar in place here? Sweet, and here as well. I love how just by upgrading these segments, we can get extra pillars in place. That just makes it uh, look much better. And this has to be one of the worst intersections i've created in this game but it's just such a pleasure to work with these road tools so it's all worth it uh one issue i'm seeing is that we've got uh stop signs and a crossing here and then one here so there's barely any room for the queue uh right there so i might try an experiment with something a little different so if we just remove this and then for this traffic here we're gonna try something a little different if we can make them go like that oh i'm gonna have to fix this up there you go and probably this one as well and then we'll have uh, a bit more room for the actual uh, intersection we'll have here with traffic lights is what I'm desperately trying to say and fumbling. So let me just let me just try this out. Disable some snapping. And we'll do like this and then upgrade to a three piece segment. And then just connect that straight up like that. And then grabbing the one way branch off from down here. And then connecting that up and bringing that real close. 
something like that. This should give us a bit better flow. Uh, we're gonna have an additional traffic light here, but I don't think that's avoidable. Also, we don't care about avoidable. This whole thing is intended to be awful. I have to remember that. And we can redraw this one, make it a bit more swoopy. Yeah, maybe we should connect as well. That's probably a good start. And of course here we can actually upgrade to the uh, five lane asymmetrical that we used in the other place as well to get some proper lane maths going here. And speaking of lane math, there are a couple of turns here that we don't want to allow, such as this right turn. We've got a dedicated lane, my dude. Uh, we've got a right turn here as well. We don't want to allow. But other than that, uh, it seems things are looking pretty good. So the whole thing is already a mess, creating uh, substantial queues, but it is the afternoon rush hour. So this is, uh, this is the time where we'd see the most amount of traffic. Um, but I, I think there's, there's a couple of issues and I know I wanted it to be weird, but I don't want it to be too inefficient. And I think this crossing here is creating some issues as well as the uh, merge lane here, because effectively, if you're this truck and you want to go in this direction, then uh, there's just there's some issues here with crossing two lanes of traffic uh, right before you try to turn left. It's really not working out all that well. Uh, so I think something I am going to do for starters is actually remove this lane here and then just connect it up here uh, to the actual inter intersection. Uh, instead, because that's going to give a little more freedom for lanes to, if, if they want to effectively continue straight on. Uh, so I'll create an additional lane and then I'll just move that in if I can get my 80 degrees like this and probably upgrade this to a two laner. And then we're of course gonna ban a left turn here because you've got this absolute mess of a traffic jam if you wanna turn left. <laughs> so I guess most people wouldn't like to do that, but you know, sometimes you have to sit in traffic for about an hour each way just to get to your dreadful corporate job. And I'm here to enable that. There's also a cheeky left turn here, which we probably Shouldn't that allow Yeah, of course. Why would you even do that? I mean, just continue straight. Improve traffic simulation, my ass. Hmm. A really cheeky thing to try and do here would to actually make this lane sunken. And we might just... We might just go for it, actually. So if we can expand the highway over here so that we've got an additional merge lane and adhere to some lane maths uh, like this we probably don't need that much space so we'll just create an extra node and then downgrade this and then if i think we're in a pretty good spot to try and make it a sunken stretch because this is causing massive queues Let's see, we'll go in with some terraforming, the shift terrain tool. Uh, just go down ever so slightly and find an appropriate level. Of course, there's a lot of traffic here, so it's pretty easy to find like a level of clearance we'll be needing. And I think if we just go down to about here, nah, it's not really going to be enough. This is probably a little more like it. So I'm just going to do a bit of digging here so that we can lower this whole thing. Then we'll go with the slope terrain tool and try to create a gentle slope. And then I'm going to delete it while there's a ton of traffic on it. So um, not ideal, but oh well. We're going to upgrade uh, 
this segment to elevate it as well as this one i'm sorry for the crazy colors but that's been happening ever since the new updates and let's see if we can just try and gently slope the terrain here a bit as well we might just be able to pull this off grab our one lane highway and then embark on this journey and hopefully we can avoid too many graphical glitches here i just want to i think this is fine pretty decent connection maybe adding in a few key walls here is gonna help yes and then let's see i think i'll branch off manually around here that looks to be the correct spot at least we can enable snapping again so that we can try and align it a bit this is so much fun oh. uh, and hopefully get a proper connection here and everything's looking pretty good we'll have to redo a few segments uh, such as this one so that we get a proper bridge segment here i'm just gonna delete this and man it's so much fun seeing all this traffic here really is quite the busy place huh and that is completely wrong so we're trying a new much better and we've got no structures that ruins are on the pass on the pass sorry and then we're moving from here see if we can can we actually snap i think we can and there's clearance underneath oh this is such a weird such a weird construction but it's so much fun to build stuff like this And now with this connection in place, we are once again going to make sure you cannot make a left turn here because you would go underneath. And it's yeah, just a ton of fun watching all this traffic. And let's even add a small roundabout. Get a bit of Euro stuff in here. I know there are roundabouts in places in the US as well. And now we've got one as well and i think this pretty much wraps up this complete mess of infrastructure uh, but messy infrastructure is just it's it's more fun than the, the clean cut stuff so if we were to do uh one additional little optimization to this bad boy it would be to get an additional lane in place here because right now this is obviously the most uh popular lane to take and i think if we actually upgrade this to a five lane asymmetrical just like this segment but we just flip the asymmetrical part like this yeah let's see just move that all the way down here okay i'll need to do some manual adjustment but just by doing this we can hopefully uh, upgrade this to a two-lane segment and without too much clipping even and just do the same over here and this seems to immediately have kind of alleviated the bottleneck that we had before and i don't want a traffic light here don't know why that would be set up and no crossings here either and it seems that there are even a few additional optimizations we could do i noticed some trucks are having a bit of a difficulty with uh, just how small this roundabout is so we'll upgrade it to this one and then to avoid the clipping we've got going here we're gonna grab the move it mod and just Gently position it a little better. There you go. That should make it a little easier for some of our uh, 18 wheelers that we have trying to make its way through this. And it would seem we can use even more lanes here. 
depending on just the insane amount of traffic we are seeing in this area. But it is also leading to the airport right over here and of course lots of housing so I guess it makes sense. So we upgraded this to a free laner and we might upgrade this to a four laner. Do we need to do... I won't upgrade... maybe I should upgrade this to a four laner although I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna keep it like that. And then this is your left turn if you're coming from this direction as you of course can't turn onto these uh, one-way streets so maybe upgrading this to a free laner so that you've got a dedicated lane might be an idea and then if we disable anarchy we can probably just align this a little better make it a little nicer on the eyes so I'm just gonna move in and do the simplest and smallest of detailing. Adding, I think we'll just start with a layer of wild bushes, make sure I don't have anarchy on. And just gonna try and restrict the amount of trees I have here, because I imagine most of them would be uh, cleared to make room for this type of development here. So uh, bushes go in first and then maybe uh, a few. I'm gonna make sure the tree line gets a bit closer to some of these roads, but um, I'm not really gonna do much more than that. So let's uh, pick this brush here and reduce the size. Just enable anarchy so that we can create a pretty thick patch trees here. Moving closer to the infrastructure we have we'll grab the evergreen stuff as well covering up imperfections as per usual and i think that's pretty much it so i think that's gonna be a wrap for this episode it has been so much fun expanding the infrastructure here in in riverview and hopefully it's also gonna help in the long run with the additional traffic that we expect to encounter as the city continues to grow uh, but yeah, I guess in the second half of the video, this thing just became a challenge in creating something really wonky, but wonky is fun. Uh, anyways, I'm going to shoot some cinematics for you guys. And then I've got a bit of a question because we've still got the original bridge. It's not nearly seeing the amount of usage that it used to, but I was actually considering just keeping the original infrastructure here. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool and it kind of adds to the history of this area that the uh, original connection and the original infrastructure is still in place and then right next to it we've got uh, the massive uh, billion dollar investment that has been made in in recent years but let me know what you guys think anyways i'll uh, i'll get on to those cinematics and as always i hope to see you all in the next one and thank you guys so much for the support and for watching goodbye